What? Where's my cream sauce? week in front of the camera i feel like other people might say that i taste like cardboard but i love it period wow <laughs> ikea mukbang so ever since quarantine i've started to become really into interior designing and redecorating and renovating and so once ikea opened i went to ikea and i discovered that ikea doesn't only just have good affordable furniture and decoration but they also have affordable and delicious food so yesterday i went back to ikea with my mom and we spent more money on snacks and food than furniture but like we didn't buy that much anyways so this is all the snack i got and i just want to try on camera i i've never tried any of these and we also tried hot food so i'm gonna insert the the, the clip right now of when i try the hot food car food ikea food mukbang the restaurant's not open yet but after you finish buying the um, furniture stuff then there's the area that sells food for takeout and that's open I got a salted salmon baguette mmm 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 there's salmon lettuce I taste mustard cheese and um dill yes definitely dill Wow, it's really good. This was five fifty. Worth it. it. Tastes pretty fresh. The lettuce looks fresh. Salmon tastes fresh, and the bugger is so chewy. This is a veggie dog. Wow. And they asked if you want all the toppings. And you definitely should get a lot of toppings. You can taste the vegetables inside. Tastes healthy and good. It's so soft. It just melts in your mouth. That's my signature. Um, <laughs> that's my signature quote. Every time I eat something, it just melts in your mouth. And the, the onion adds a nice crunch. And this is only 79 cents. Like, you can't go wrong. Period. <laughs> Alright. For dessert, we have the frozen yogurt. If you've been to Ikea, you probably have gotten one before. Oh, it's like melting. I just got the plain one because I kind of prefer the plain one over the one with the raspberry jam, I think. Mmm. Tastes like a McDonald's um, vanilla cone, but it's frozen yogurt. Creamy, sweet, light, fluffy, delicious. Oh, it's so good. I came back to IKEA with my friend, <laughs> and this time I got what the what? Where's my cream sauce? <laughs> I thought it came with gravy. And I got veggie dog that I recommended. Oh. Well, there I go. Non fat. Oh, it came with the mashed potatoes and lingonberry for $5.50. Mashed potato soak. Okay, but where's gravy? Yeah. Ooh, lingonberry. Uh, if it had gravy on it, it would be 10 out of 10. This is worth 75 cents. <laughs> Skin me on the jam. Skin? Is that a word? Mm -hmm. Skin? Mm -hmm. So, 6 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, we're back. So, Let's try these snacks. I am so excited. So what I went a few weeks ago, um, I got the pear flavor of the sparkling water. So they're called sparkling apple and lingonberry flavor drink from Concentrate. So last time I went, I got the pear one and 
I never had such delicious sparkling water, but it is because usually the sparkling water that I, have, that I drink doesn't have any sugar and this one has like 25 grams and this one has 22 grams, but it's delicious so it's okay, I guess. Comes in this fancy glass bottle. Well, I should really be sponsored, <laughs> but um, it is $2.99 for the whole bottle. Use my IKEA glass. <laughs> I put a durian sticker on it. Let me know if you have tried durian before. I love it. I used to not like it, but now I love it. Ooh, it's like a rose color. Okay, that's enough, Isabella. So this is a, um, apple and lingonberry. So lingonberry, it's a it's like a form of cranberry, Scandinavian berry, Swedish berry, I guess. Cheers. Oh, and I really want to go to Sweden just to like eat food there. Okay. Oh my god. So good. It's like soda. It's like juice soda. I can taste that apple. I can taste cranberry. This this table is clearly not stable. We shall try this later. What should we try? I kind of really want to try this. I've never tried their jam. And they also have like a lingonberry flavor jam. But I got the... Wow, well, I was about to try to pronounce that. But I'm not going to. It is a cloudberry jam. Don't know what a cloudberry is. Oh. Hmm, interesting. It looks like unripe raspberries. <laughs> we have raspberry bush in our yard garden and it kind of looks like that when it's not ready to eat yet. Those little smells interesting. Um, I have here a piece of toasted bread. I'm gonna spread some of this on there. Whee! It has like the seed in here too. Oh. This was $7.99, pretty expensive for jam, but since it's imported and, you know, we don't got no cloudberry here, it's worth it, right? Alright, cheers. Mmm. Mm mmm. Okay. It's sweet and since oh, there's seeds on here you got like a nice crunch to it wait I, I'm just gonna try a little bit on its own it's interesting I don't even know how to describe it. It's like something I've never tried before. But it's sweet, so... It's good. <laughs> I really like how the seed is in it. Oh, it's organic. Ooh. Mm. Now I want to try cloudberry. It seems like it's a form of a raspberry. Could be wrong. It's good. I do recommend We'll finish that later. Oh, maybe I should rate these. 10 out of 10. I love their sparkling water. Um, like 9, mm -hmm, actually 8 out of 10 because I think it's like a little too sweet for me. I, I wish it was more of the fruit flavor than sugar. Um, but it's good. Let's try one of these. So last time I got one of these candy, I got the pear flavor. A gooseberry pear flavor and it was really really good I love the texture that the texture of Swedish fish obviously because it's Swedish I kind of like these texture more than gummy bear texture because it's like no I it just it's like it's like sticky I like I like it a lot so this one is sour jellies with rhubarb lemon or lime flavor so there's three flavors in here. Gelatin free. 
These are $169 for a pack. Mmm. Mmm. Sour. Mmm. Very interesting flavor. That might have been a rhubarb. Because it didn't taste like lemon or lime. Mmm, I like it. I really love the texture and the consistency. 10 out of 10. Not a harsh critic when it comes to food. Love all food. Let's try this one. This one's a sweet one. Sweet jellies with raspberry, cranberry, or forest fruit flavor. Also $169. Let's try this Pepe one. Mmm! Mmm! I don't know what that flavor is. It is good. Try this pink one. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's so much better than Swedish fish. I know Trader Joe's makes like a their version of Swedish fish called Scandinavian swimmers. And I had I had the sour one before, but I prefer this. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I figured I'd try this on camera. I got these, hiding my nails. I got these last time. I think they were like a dollar something. They're cookies with raspberry flavor filling. And since it's been really hot, I've been keeping them in the freezer. Let's try them. I mean, I already know it's good. Mmm. I love cookies with the jelly filling. And this one's not really sweet, which I like. I'll give these 7 out of 10. Not because they're bad, but the other stuff were better. <laughs> Let's move on to this one. 100% natural. This one is apple mango passion fruit. I can already smell how delicious it is. <laughs> Don't make me look weak in front of the camera. Come on. I can't open it. Okay. Okay. This smells delicious. But you know what I hate? When something smells really good and it doesn't taste as good. Cheers. Mmm. Tastes just like it smells. I didn't taste the passion fruit. Okay. Out of the three that I have tried, the pear one, this apple lingonberry, and the apple mango. It's fine, it's fine. And the apple mango passion fruit, I would recommend. They're both, they're all so good. I would definitely recommend the pear because when I tried it, I was just blown away. Let me smell it again. Mm, it smells like crisp apples. I don't know, just get all of them. Let's try this cracker now. You know how there's like oatmeal raisin cookies, but I, I always wish it was just oatmeal, oatmeal without the raisins. And they had an oatmeal cookie. Um, but it was a huge box and it was like six, seven dollars. I was like, eh. So I got the small one for two twenty nine. So it says oatmeal cookies, sugar free with sweetener, now not calorie reduced. Well, it's not healthy, <laughs> but let's let's try it. I love oatmeal cookies. Cute. 
It tastes sugar free. It's not sweet at all. It's crunchy. But it does have a nice chew. It's not chewy, but it has a nice chew. I really like this. Because I really like bland things. <laughs> Especially cookies. I don't know if you guys ever had digestive cookies. I really like those cookies. Like digestive biscuits. I don't think this is everyone's cup of tea. Because it is not sweet at all. I love like the graininess and oatmeal flavor. I feel like other people might say that it tastes like cardboard. But I love it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. This would be good. It would be so good if you made an ice cream sandwich out of this. Because it's not sweet so it will balance out the ice cream. <gasps> Genius. I saved the most exciting one for last. It's this strawberry cake. It came with four of them and a frozen aisle. It's $5.99. I think I read a review of this somewhere and I was like, ooh, I want to try it. Ooh. Ooh, it's layered. It has like strawberry jam, it seems. Wow, okay. <gasps> I'm excited. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> is this ice cream? I'm not sure if this is ice cream or... Maybe it should be just regular cream, but... Since it's frozen, I, I didn't let it defrost. Okay, this is what it tastes like. This is what it tastes like from things that are familiar to me. I don't know if you, oh, whoopie pies. It tastes like a whoopie pie, but strawberry version of a whoopie pie. And, you know what, it, it tastes like their frozen yogurt with the, the raspberry jam. It tastes like that. I like the different layers. Like the ice cream layer, I'm, I really, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be ice cream. The cream layer, the jelly layer, the cake, and the little the strawberry icing on top. And the cake, even though it's frozen, it's been frozen, the cake is still moist and fluffy. How? I just took a bite of just the icing. Usually I can't do icing because it's too sweet for me. <laughs> Maybe you guys have realized that I don't like things too sweet. Which is true, so usually I can't do icing, but this icing is not too sweet at, at all. It's just a good dessert in general. Mmm. I probably let this sit out for 20 minutes after you take it out of the freezer and then eat it. And it's really good. 10 out of 10. I really, really recommend IKEA food. I'm shook by how good IKEA food is. Like, why did I not know that before? Why did I only go there to buy furniture and decoration stuff? Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it semi interesting. Go to your local IKEA and try some of these and let me know if you like them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Once open, keep refrigerated and consume within 30 days. That's a short life period. Okay, 7 out of 10. Sorry, I'm sorry.